Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 5 Remastered. In the last session, some cooking has occurred. We have just been through some really great sequences and uh, a lot has changed. We know that Daigo is not in fact kidnapped, which I guessed, I'm proud of myself for that, I guessed that he had disappeared himself and that is the case after he figured out that uh, he, was, he was being set up to die. And uh, our Yama is the culprit, although there is also hints of a greater culprit behind him. But he, I, I don't know how there could be a greater culprit, because our Yama was like second to Daigo almost. Like he was everything Daigo knew, our Yama knew, because he was that, like he was personal assistant kind of thing. So I feel like, I don't know how there can be a like greater threat in that sense, but I guess we'll see. Um... So, what are we doing today? Well, we need to go and find these Yahata family men. Now, there's also three sub-stories that have appeared. Unless those are hints at where the Yahata men are, maybe? Let's go down here and take a look. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to be... I mean, it makes sense new sub-stories would have spawned because we're in a new chapter now, so... I'm also not sure where to find the... Red tracksuit guys. So maybe the question marks are pointing us towards them, but maybe not. Let's see where the day takes us, shall we? Huh? Oh, it's you, Suzuki-san. Done for the day, Muromatsu-san. Yeah. No, not quite. Anyway, there's something I can help you with? Uh, not exactly, no. I just saw you there and thought I'd say hello. Mm hmm? You sure? No ulterior motive whatsoever? Huh. You're a lot friendlier than I gave you credit for. Like I said, I was just passing by, and... You gotta be kidding me! That you, you san Wait, fucking... Fucking club guy? I forget his name, but, uh... <laughs> what are you doing here? You're the last guy I expected to run into out here. Not good. Sure has been a while since you last swung by the club. You remember your old pal Yuya, right. From Stardust? How could I forget? He manages the number one host club in Kamurocho. So what's he doing out here? Hmm? You know this guy, Suzuki-san? And what's this whole Kiyu-san business? Huh? Uh, who's Suzuki-san? Of course Yuya you wouldn't know I'm hiding my identity. I have to keep up the facade. You must have the wrong guy. My name is Suzuki. How could I be wrong, Kiyu-san? I'd know you from a mile away. It must just be a chance resemblance. They say there are always three others who look exactly like you somewhere in the world. Come on, Kiyu-san. Stop messing around. You're not just pulling my leg. Sorry to interrupt, but who are you? Oh, the name's Yuya. I work as a host in Tokyo. Me and Kiyu-san here go way back. Anyway, I thought you were still in Okinawa, so it's strange, strange running into you here. Small world, huh? What's this all about, Suzuki-san? This Yuya fellow seems to think he knows you. Of course I do. Tell him, Kiyu-san. I have to find a way out of this mess. What's my best move? Uh... Hmm. I wonder what scare him off... What does that imply? Scare him off like... Threaten him? Or scare him off like... I don't know. I'm curious to see where scare him off takes us. Enough already. I don't know any Kiryu-san, and I don't plan on listening to any more of your nonsense. That's it. I know that voice anywhere. Nobody else has that commanding presence or power. If you're not Kazuma Kiryu, then I don't know who is. For the last time, I'm Suzuki. I don't get it. Why are you trying so hard to avoid me? Damn it. What do I do now? Hey, Suzuki-san. You don't think this guy is trying to scam you, do you? Huh? Hmm? I just find it strange how insistent he's being, even though you keep telling him he's got the wrong guy. You gotta be kidding me! I would never do anything like that! Yeah. I think you might be right, Muramatsu-san. You serious? Look, Yuya, or whatever your name is, if you keep harassing us, we're going to have to call the police. You want that? Maybe I really do have the wrong guy. Sorry, Yuya. Okay then, I guess I'd better leave. I'm glad you've come to your senses. That's really all I wanted. Sorry we had to get a bit forceful with you. 
Adios. It seems he wasn't one of those crooks after all. I feel a little sorry for him now. Yeah, me too. Well, I should probably get going. There's always more work to do. Right. Then, see you later. I feel bad about doing that to Yuya. But at least Muramatsu-san seems to have bought the act. Kiryu-san? Yuya. It is you, isn't it? There's no way I wouldn't recognize a friend. I think I get what's happening. You were trying to hide your true identity from that Muramatsu guy you were with, right? Heh, <sighs> I wish you would have got the message a little quicker. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. Gotcha. So you're hiding your past so it doesn't hurt Haruka-chan's chances of becoming an idol. Yeah. Having me around would only cause her trouble. This was the only option. I feel like that is a bit weird, <laughs> still. We need to hear more about how exactly this has happened, but like, I'm, I'm pretty sure back in Yakuza 2, someone was trying to scout her for being an idol and she was like, over my dead body. And we had like a little bit of main quest to do with it. It was a, sort of a fairly brief section, but she was like, absolutely not, dude. So it's weird that she now is doing that. And also, like, if she is off doing that, surely Kiryu could still stay at the orphanage and look after everyone else because she's not... Like, it's not like he'd be with her because she'd be off doing idle shit. So, I don't know. Did you really need to take a new name, though? But man, I had no idea what was going on. Sorry for running my mouth and almost blowing your cover. No need to apologize. I didn't expect to run into anyone I knew down in Fukuoka. Yeah, talk about a coincidence. What brings you out here anyway? Oh, uh, I just came out here for vacation. Thought it'd be nice to get out of Kamurocho for a change. Okay, but what about the club? Kazuki put you in charge, so I hope there's someone capable filling your shoes while you're gone. Don't worry, Stardust is still standing. Besides, it's not like it'd fall apart if I just up and left. Yuya, are you really just here on vacation? Huh? What kind of question is that? I'm asking if there's any other reason you're down here. You're acting kind of evasive. You can tell me the truth. I can't promise I can do anything about it, but I can at least listen. Alright, but this is between you and me, okay? Sure, I understand. Actually, Kiyu-san, I'm thinking of quitting the host business. Is he serious? Stardust practically runs itself these days. We have no shortage of rising stars on staff and everything's going smoother than ever. And the guys I once thought of as newbies are now fully able to handle things on their own, so they hardly ever need my advice. As the years move on, I've started to get the feeling that I've lost my way. Kind of like something's missing in my life. It was never like that before. I was always really driven to make Stardust a big success. But now I don't have the same passion. I can tell it's all downhill from here. Yuya. So I thought I should put some distance between me and Stardust. That seemed like the only way to find the fire that I used to have. I see. And that's what brought you here, huh? Haha, <laughs> that's the thing, right? Going on a trip to do some soul searching? That's pretty much what this is for me. What about Kazuki? Didn't he leave Stardust in your hands? I haven't told Kazuki anything. Not yet, anyway. It's hard enough admitting how I feel to myself, let alone the guy who gave me his business. In any case, I'm useless to him the way I am now. If I had to go back like this, I'd be better off quitting. Would you really go that far? I can't go on like this, can I? Getting away from Camarocho was all I could do to try and fix things, but I still don't know what I would, what to do with myself. That said, running into you here has given me an idea. What do you mean? I could start over in a new town and become someone else, like what you did here. What? I want to make a fresh start, too. It'll be like the old days, when I still had the drive to make things happen. I think that'll help me get myself together. And how do you plan to make a fresh start? First, I'll find a job. It doesn't matter what it is. Actually, I should probably find the kind of job nobody else wants to do. A job that forces you to work like crazy and get things done. So you won't be going back to Stardust? I don't think so, no. I see. Kazuki won't be happy with me, but I don't think there's anything I can say to change your mind. Thanks, Kiyu-san. I knew you'd get me. Well, I'd better head off. I got some serious job hunting to do. 
Oh, and the Udon was great. So are we just never going to see this guy again when we inevitably go back to Camarocho? I hope Yuya finds his motivation again. I guess he might appear in random sub-stories wherever or something, but like, that was a that was a pretty staple part of the series for a while there, was you'd always end up in Stardust for one reason or another, and Yuya would always be there and all that. It's gonna be gonna be strange if he's not there anymore. Um, right, so we are there, so now we want to 180 and take them right and go forward. Oh, hello. <laughs> and it's the devil killer guy. Woohoo. Please beat me up. Please beat me up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you, you hit. Sorry about the other day. I looked all over for work and ended up getting a gig as a living waiter at a hostess club. The place is called La Sign. I'm going to try starting over in this town too. So you just started working at a cabaret club. Maybe I'll go see him sometime. Oh, wait, there's two question marks here? Big tough guy. Huh? You got a problem? Quit staring at me. He's pretty drunk. What the hell are you looking at? You talking to the greatest au devoir Morosawa? Still want to pick a fight with me? You named yourself after an appetizer. You're goddamn right, and I'm not putting up with any lip from a little shit like you. I forget how you pronounce that. Is it or or d'oeuvre? Or de voir? I don't know. Order. I feel like it's order. Hmm? Who are you? I've never been defeated by an amateur before. You shouldn't be brawling when you're that drunk. Did that sober you up? Yeah, a little. I guess I was a bit out of control. It's been a while since the last time I had a drink. You should stay away from the booze for today. Head home and get some rest. Hey, hold on a second. What's your name? It's Suzuki. Suzuki-san, huh? I'm a wrestler. The name's Ordov. I think I think it's Ordov. It's not exactly a term I say more than once a fucking year or something. I don't know. <laughs> the name's Ordov Morosawa. Heard of me? No, I'm afraid not. Are you still wrestling at your age? Sort of. I'm over 60 now. You don't look it. <laughs> And I was still rambling in the ring ten years ago. Now I'm looking for a place to lay my career to rest. You mean you're retiring? That's right. You may not have heard of me, but back in my day, the name Order of Morosawa was known by wrestling fans all over. <laughs> I did everything I could to thrill the crowd. Blood spilling performances with deadly weapons, death matches and electrified cages. When my popularity died down, I did a few farewell matches, but I always made a comeback. It was all just to keep my name out there. Interesting. I never really thought about the performance aspect of wrestling before. But after starting side businesses without permission from my league and doing all those farewell matches, I lost the support of my fans. Once your popularity starts to slide, there's nothing you can do. I ended up getting myself into all sorts of trouble. I couldn't control myself back then. I had my fair share of brushes with the law too. Then, after my seventh comeback, the wrestling league I belonged to finally dropped me. I completely deserved it, of course. Seven comebacks, my guy. <laughs> I didn't get along well with any of the other wrestlers, so there was nobody left on my side. There I was, kicked out of wrestling with nothing but a bunch of failed side ventures and a ton of debt to my name. It's been a decade since I last stepped into the ring. The years have caught up with me, and my strength is failing. I've been thinking of putting an end to my wrestling career once and for all, and I want to do it right. How so? I want to lay the name Order of Morosawa to rest with one last proper farewell match. 
so I can say my goodbyes to the ring and the crowd. This time it won't just be a performance. I want my final bout to be a fitting end to my life as a wrestler. This farewell was supposed to take place today. What happened? My opponent refused to take up the challenge. He said he couldn't fight me. He's another wrestler from my old league, the only guy I could remotely call a friend. He agreed to be my opponent for this final match. But when the league got wind of what was happening, they put a stop to it. What? <laughs> Can you believe it? They still haven't forgiven me, ten years after they kicked me out. So you decided to drown your troubles in alcohol then? Yeah. My first sip in ten years, but it tasted horrible. All I need now is someone to fight, and I think you'd be able to pull it off, Suzuki-san. Huh? Please. I know it's ridiculous to pick a fight with you and then ask a favor like this, but I really need you to take me on in the ring. You're no ordinary brawler, that's for sure. You've got what it takes to face off with a wrestler like me. It's just a little venue out in the open air, but I poured every last bit of money I had left into this final match. This is my last chance. I have nothing else left to live for. I'm begging you, let me wrestle one last time in front of a crowd. Sorry, it's just... It wouldn't be smart to show my face somewhere conspicuous like that. Wait, you don't need to make a decision right now. There's still some time left. If you decide to take up the challenge, come to Ose Bridge. I've got a special ring set up there. I'll be waiting for you. If you don't come, the match is off. They won't give me my money back and I'll lose the trust of my last few fans. I'd like to help out, but... I need some way to conceal my face, otherwise stepping into the ring would be a huge risk. Maybe there's something I could use back in my apartment. Right, well, let's see if I can remember to go back to the apartment at some point. Oh, right. Hello. <laughs> I found the club. Kiyu-san, did you get my email? I did. So you're really starting over, Yuya? Yep. I'm doing whatever it takes to get the old me back. I thought way to work at a cabaret club would be pretty tough, but it's not that bad at all. No matter what the job, once you have the experience of working your way up, you never forget the basics. That's why it's easy for you. Makes sense. It's strange, you know? How feeling, how feeling needed really motivates you. I haven't felt like this for a while. Hey, are you goofing off out here? I could say the same about you. What's up, Momoka? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just came to check up on you, Kazuki-kun. Kazuki? Yeah, that's the name I go by here. Just run with it, Suzuki-san. Heh, <laughs> fine. So, who's your buddy? Suzuki-san's here, an old, here there is an old friend who helped me out a lot back in the day. Oh yeah? Well, I guess I should tell you, Suzuki-san. I've got my sights set on your old friend Kazuki-kun's heart. He's a real sweetie pie, you know. Whoa, slow down there. Heh, I see you didn't waste any time blending in. Oh, come on. Even though Kazuki-kun's new here, he seems to know the job like the back of his hand. All the girls love him. He handles the drunks like a pro, and he gives us great advice on how to treat customers. Our manager really relies on him too. Hey, shouldn't you be getting back to work? Yeah, yeah. Hope I didn't interrupt you, Suzuki-san. Though, if you want to come back with me, you're more than welcome. Sorry about that. Don't worry, but after seeing that, I have to wonder if you'll ever go back to Kamurocho. Ah, uh, I don't even want to think about that just yet. I can't, I just can't seem to make up my mind. But when I finally do, I'll be sure to get in touch with Kazuki-san and the rest of the club. I see. I guess it's really none of my business. Don't be like that. I appreciate your concern. Well, I'll stop by again sometime. Keep your chin up, Yuya. I will. Thank you. Okay. I wonder if, uh... We'll... Is that going to be an ongoing thing? Because that seemed... I don't know. It seemed like it might be sort of left open for a third little question mark to pop up. But it doesn't look like there's anything new at the moment. Because the one in the right was still was there before, and there aren't any new ones, so. 
I do like you, yep. He's, uh, been in most of them? I'm trying to remember if he was in four at all. I'm not remembering him in four, but maybe. I don't know. Also, where the fuck are these tracksuit dudes? Like, I'm running around doing side quests right now, but we're about to run out of sub-stories, and I have yet to see a single fucking tracksuit dude to advance the main story. Whoa, I don't believe it. Is that you, Kiryu-san? You know me? Of course I do. It's me, Noboru Kudorizaka. You remember, right? I asked you to stand in for me when I was shooting that period piece. Long time no see. I do not remember. Is this a sub-story I didn't do? Probably. That does sound somewhat familiar. But man, I didn't expect to run into you here. I guess the stars aligned for me. There must be a god after all. Why do you say that? I'm working on a new project, but I hurt myself just as shooting was about to start. Again. The thought of bringing this up to the director has had me biting my nails the entire time. I have to get another two hour manicure. Anyway, you've already done this before, so I really need your help. Can you stand in for me again? So I'm going to be in yet another movie, huh? Oh, no. God damn it. Usually the top answer is yes. Sorry, you'll have to find someone else. What? But you're my only hope. Please, give it some thought. Usually the top answer is the one that says yes. Okay, I'll do it. Great. Thanks a bunch. So what's the role this time? Oh, it's the perfect role for you, Kiryu-san. It's a Yakuza action movie. All you have to do is rough some people up. And I use the term people loosely. Well, I guess I could pull off an action role. Awesome. Then I'll take you to the set right away. Hey there. How's it going? Howdy hey Kiyu-chan, it's been a while. Too bad the only reason we're meeting is because Kuda-chan here keeps breaking himself on everything he touches. I'm really sorry. I don't know what I'd have done if I hadn't run into you. You're doing us a serious favor. Not to mention, Kiyu-chan, you're perfect for this role. It's almost like it was meant to be. Here's the script. All you have to do is memorize the parts for the lead role, Tatsu. Uh, you finally made it, Tatsu of Kimura. Okay, so I have to remember these lines in particular. I'm here to end this, brother. You're a vampire, right? I'm here to end this, brother. You're a vampire, right? Oh, fucking hell. Defeats the zombies one at a time, goes against the sweat back head zombie, then the hat, then jacket, then glasses. Hair, hat, jacket, glasses. Hair, hat, jacket, glasses. Let's see how immortal you really are. Uh, the hazy moon you stole from the boss was a fake. I'm never going to remember all of this. There's no way. Uh, Demon Blade Special Technique. Right. The boss will be waiting for you in hell. Oh my god. There's so much. <laughs> I'm never gonna... I'm never gonna remember all of this. I, <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a Yakuza movie. Are you all good? Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'm never gonna remember it, so... <laughs> Alright, I got it down. Remember, you don't have to say the lines word for word, just make them snappy and relevant. Also, do your best with the action sequences. Ideally, we would like you to follow the script, but you'll get paid either way. Alright. Let's get this thing rolling then. 
Ready? Action! So you finally made it, Tatsu of Komuro. I'm here to end this, brother. You think you can kill me? Sorry, but that will never happen. I cannot be killed! For you see... Okay, well, if the options are like this, then I can remember. Because <laughs> he ain't an umpire, and I'm pretty sure he's not a campfire. So, you're a vampire, right? So you knew! <laughs> Indeed! And all those I bite become the living dead! Soon enough you'll join them, Tatsu of Komuro! Okay. Uh. Uh, and then you, right? Hair hat. Uh, yellow jacket next. Nope. Uh, how do I... There we go. Jacket and glasses. Pretty sure I did that in the right order. Interesting! You're just as strong as ever, Tatsu! You're the man I acknowledged as my brother after all! Uh, I can't remember. I think it was this one? Let's see if you're really immortal or not. Nice. Not so fast! I still have a few cards left up my sleeve! Goodbye, my brother! You might have lived if you hadn't been so eager to unmask me! This was just fuck em up. Use special attacks and shit. Not bad, but now you have to deal with me. What will you do? I cannot be killed. Struggle all you want, but you'll never destroy me. That blade, is that the hazy moon? It can't be. How did you get hold of it? Uh, the hazy moon you stole from the boss was fake. What? So you switched them? <laughs> I see now. It seems the tables have turned. Oh, how the turn tables. But I shall enjoy this. For the first time, it will be a fight for my life. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum -bum. Am I dying? Me? A vampire with eternal life? 
<laughs> the boss is dating four girls in hell. True. The boss is waiting for you in hell. Yeah, yeah. Tatsu of Komoro! Not bad for a human! You could have been an even bigger villain than I! Okay, cut! Thanks, Kiyu-san. That was everything we needed. Was I okay? You were amazing, Kiyu-chan! I love that stuff you ad libbed there, too! That's just the kind of spice I was looking for! Really? The words just seem to tumble out of my mouth. Then you've got the tumblings of genius. Even I couldn't pull off that level of awesome. And those action scenes were the icing on the cake. We got some unforgettable shots that'll make people jump out of their seats. Filming went really smoothly thanks to you, so I beefed up your pay quite a bit. Thanks for all the help. You got 100,000 yen. Nice. That's next year's Christmas present sorted too. Good working with you again. Peace out, bitches. Cool. All right, all right, all right. Do we have any abilities we can get? I forget. Have we spent our things? Oh, we can, we can. Um. Beep -be doo. Mm. I guess? I don't really care about any of these, so I guess just start buying them to get to the next level and see if I care about those instead. Do more damage to surrounding enemies when hitting them with throw. I, I just don't really throw, so anything that's an ability with throw is just like, eh. Um, okay, so that is all the s Nope, never mind. Yuya is back available again. Okay, well, that answers that question. I said, didn't I? I was like, I feel like this op this is leaving it open for more Yuya stuff. And indeed, there is more Yuya stuff. But also, where the fuck are the red tracksuit guys? Unless they're the exclamation marks. I assume the exclamation marks were the fucking, um... The fighting substory thing, which I don't care about. But maybe the exclamation marks are the tracksuit guys? In this case? It's possible. It do be a possibility. Wait, what was that? Look. Oh, is this a revelation? I just happened to stumble over it. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> well, this is very weird. Oh, hey, it's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the creep that wanted a ride from us, right? I didn't recognize him, but I do recognize the taxi driver. <laughs> Shut the door! Yes! Slam that shit on him. God. Clappers. Essence of door slamming. Nice. 
Yeah, if we happen to stumble on any like that, then that's fine. I just CBA to go out like hunting for them specifically, seeing as they're not marked. Ardent Reader. Oh my goodness, I hate cliffhangers, and the author's taking a break next issue. Get back to work, darn it. Uh, it was down here, right? Yeah. Alrighty, Yuya. Back at it again. What's up this time? 